Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, blessing our food. I know it kind of seems like a trivial thing, but I, I came across a couple of articles and the Lord put this message on my heart. Um, the London Telegraph put out a news article, and I'll leave the link down below, that uh, our food chain is at risk of being poisoned by terrorist groups. I'm just going to read a little bit of this, but um, it says manufacturers and retailers have been told that their sector is vulnerable to attacks by ideologically and politically motivated groups that seek to cause widespread casualties and disruptions by poisoning food supplies. Also, I found that there uh, I was reading about this recent uh, European E. coli um, outbreak and the Lord put this message on my heart about blessing my food and I want to give you a little testimony about that um, I've always thanked the Lord for my food but I, I didn't ask him to bless the food always to bless it to the nourishment of my body and uh, I began having a lot of health issues and stomach problems and um, IBS and uh, the Lord put it on my heart to ask for blessing over my food. I did. I, I started blessing my food before I ate, even privately, you know, if, if I couldn't do it out publicly or privately, I asked the Lord to bless my food. My stomach problems went away and... Uh, I'm much better. And I want to read some scripture to you. It's uh, Matthew 26 and it's verse 27. I'm sorry, 26. And as they were eaten, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples, <clears throat> excuse me, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Um, the Lord blessed the food and before they ate it and since we're going to follow Jesus as our example we should ask for the Lord's blessing upon our food I was reading in Mark in chapter 15 and I'm sorry, in chapter 16, he said, Jesus was speaking, starting in verse 15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up servants, serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So it says right there, you know, that, that we're, we can, if we happen to take something that's poison, that, we'll, that we can, you know, it will do us no harm. But I, I believe that, you know, what the Lord's telling us is that we should ask for blessing and protection over our food because uh, anymore we don't know what we're eating. Unless you grew it yourself, you, you don't know. If you got it at the grocery store, you just have no idea. So it's, it's best uh, to thank Him and ask for His blessing upon the food. It may protect your health. I hope this message was a blessing to somebody. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. May Jesus bless you.